Hey there, Tejanos. My name is Danielle with El Paso Community College. Today, I will be demonstrating how to register for courses and how to use Student Services Banner 9. First, you need to access your web banner account. To do this, go to apcc.edu and in the top right corner, click Menu. Scroll all the way down to where it says Web Banner. Then you'll be prompted to log in using your APCC credentials, which is your APCC email and password. Once logged in, you will see the homepage that includes your general student information, student services, financial aid, and registration. For today's video, we'll be focusing on how to register for courses. To start your registration process, you will click on Registration. Once you know what classes you need to enroll in, go ahead and click Register for Classes. After that, you will select the term that is relevant to you. But for this example, we will use Fall 2023. Then press Continue. On the next page, you will input the information for the classes you want to add, including subjects such as English and History, course number such as 1301, and if you would like some keywords such as the title of the course or the campus you will be attending, then press Search. Next, you will see a list of the options available for the respective class, and as you can see, there are multiple columns that give you detailed information about the course. So let's go over each one of them. The first two columns will give you a general description of the course, like the title, if it's a lecture or a lab, and the subject. The next one will be a course number, and each digit has a meaning. The first digit is the classification level of the course, for instance, freshman or sophomore. The second digit is the number of credits you receive for that course, and the last two digits are the department numbers. The next column contains the section of the course. Then, the following column will show the hours referred to the amount of credit hours you will get from the course. After that, we have the CRN numbers that will help distinguish the specific class. Moving forward, we have the term that will tell you which semester the class will take place. The following column will tell you who your instructor is going to be for that respective course. Now, we have the meeting times and the campus columns, and here you'll be able to identify when and where the classes will be held. To check if a class is online, you will notice that none of the days of the week are highlighted, and the length of the class is all day long. When you put the cursor on top of the week, it will give you the more in-depth information. Finally, the last column is the status of the course, and here you will find out how many seats are available. These are all the details that can help you determine which courses best fit your preference. Now, how do we add these courses to our schedule? Let's show you. What you are going to do is go to the far right and click the Add button. After this action, the classes you just added will appear at the bottom under Summary and Class Schedule. But wait, you're not done quite yet. There's an extra step you need to take. In the summary, you will notice that the status of your course is pending in color gray as well as in your schedule on the left side. To make sure you are registered for the classes, you must click Submit on the bottom right corner. And once you've done that, the status will change to Registered in color green in both sides. And that means you have enrolled successfully. Now, you can also do an advanced search, where you can have a narrow search by adding as many courses as you want. Add the name of your instructor, select the campus you want to attend, as well as the time and the days you want your classes to be. There you have it. That is the newest way to register for your upcoming semester. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to your counselor, advisor, or admissions representative. That's all for my part. See you soon, Tejanos.